What is up, guys? Emusa here, bringing you guys another episode of Super Hostile Sea of Flame 2. In the last episode, we conquered two pretty easy dungeons, but we also lost our diamond armor. So I quickly made some new diamond armor. It's already been hurt because I had I was got I got shot I got shot from skeletons making my way over here, and um, it's not the best. Protection one, fire protection four, thorns two. I'm breaking fire protection and I'm breaking. So it's not the best armor, but you know I guess it gets the job done. So, um, in this episode, we're going to be heading to, uh, what is it, Shut Up Spider's Ugg, I believe. Yep, Sh Shut Up Spider's Ugg, Dungeon 12, and I just destroyed that sign. Oops, uh, oops. I did not mean to destroy the sign, but, um, heading into the dungeon, I absolutely, absolutely hate this dungeon with a passion. So, quickly, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's, like, a chest or two, so let me just... Um, check and before anyone says anything about the paintings, I'm not gonna check the paintings because I'm 100% positive there's like nothing behind the uh, paintings. So, just a quick check. You can see, bam, bam, bam. Nothing, nothing behind these paintings. Um, so that's where I need to go. So here we are. We have. I'm just gonna dump some of the stuff because I don't need it. And we don't need any of this either. And we have some CD discs. And I'm actually going to sleep just in case I die. Because I absolutely hate this dungeon with a passion. And I don't I only have two potions with me. So I need to make sure I use them properly. But here we are. Like honestly guys. I've been dreading. Like I've been dreading. Actually I'm going to replace my sword. So I can have my uh. I have my shovel because we're gonna be doing a lot of like digging. I I've been dreading uploading, not uploading. I've been dreading recording this up, uh, these next two episodes because it's dealing with the dungeon, and I absolutely hate this dungeon with a passion. Like the dungeon is not fun for me to record. And it's not fun for me to even come in here. It's absolutely stupid and annoying, and it just pisses me off. So if I rage. Know that I have good intentions to rage because I hate this dungeon with a passion. So the first level, actually the first three levels, I believe, is like the same. Let me kill you because I don't have anything to defend myself against creepers because I did have to get rid of my uh, did have to get rid of my sword so I can make room. Let me just quickly light up this first area. So as I was saying. As I was saying, um, the first not the first three levels should be fairly the same, like style. I believe it's just uh, open room with mobs spawning and these gravel things, which houses the spider the spider uh, spawners. So that's I'm pretty sure that's the first three levels. Maybe more than that, maybe less. But um, let me quickly. Ooh, crap. I thought I had my... See? Muscle memory right there. At its finest. I thought I had my, uh... I'm used to switching to my sword to take care of spiders. So, yeah. That's good. This is gonna be... I don't think... I doubt there's anything in here. Like, pretty sure those are the only spawners, right? Yeah, they're the only spawners. So, let's continue to head on out this way. Um, and I'm actually getting very low frames in this dungeon, actually. Usually throughout this entire map, I, I've gotten over, like, I would say, 200, I, like, rock 200 frames. Like, if I, if I don't record, I've run Minecraft at, you know, 500 frames, you know, and I guess you can say max settings, but I would consider max settings, like, high... I use 12 render distance, and I would say max settings would be like far render distance. Even though I can I can use far render distance, I just find it kind of like I don't know. I just I feel like 12 is better for me because at far having far render distance just I don't know. To me, it kind of feels the same as a uh, 12 render distance. 
But yeah, this dungeon, I'm actually getting very low frames. I'm getting like uh, mid 100 frames, which is weird, because like I said, I can record Minecraft. Well, uh, when I don't record Minecraft, I can go at 100, not 100, I have like 500 plus. And when I record Minecraft, it's at 250 plus. So, it's kind of weird. I don't know, it's kind of weird. And I can feel like, I know at that point you can't really feel the frames, but still, it's like, you know, it's just there to have in the back of your head that uh, you're not getting the frames that you, you're used to playing at. And so, to get to these lower levels, we actually have to dig down. Compare, like, there isn't really a straight path in this dungeon. You, like, you have to dig. So, I don't know where... Okay, it's right here. Okay, so these spiders aren't gonna get to me. Black creeper will. So, let me open this up a bit more so I can... Have some room to breathe. Open this up, provide light, and then just so I can know that I came from right here. So first things first is I I, I can let spiders come in here. I don't care. It's like it's not even the spiders being a threat in this dungeon that pisses me off. It's the amount of spiders that pisses me off. And there's a witch right there. I want to take care of that witch before she causes any harm to me because we all know what happens when I go against witches. Usually die. Or you, I like, go, come to half health. Okay, let me open this up because I'm not gonna get anywhere because I'm just having them sp constantly spawn on me. And I'm pretty sure there's like other, like, like skeleton spawners or creeper spawners. Ooh. And whatnot, but I'm not worried. I'll just have my torches take care of that. What I'm like mainly concerned about is destroying these spider spawners. And that is a spider jockey. Holy crap! I need to eat. And also between the last episode and this episode, I uh, I have so much bone, so I can just bone meal the crap out of my potato farm. So yeah, continue on with these spiders. You can just see, so they're so annoying. Like, oh my goodness, why? Are you even here? See, like, right here. Okay, yeah. This one's... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. So like, they're not even doing health down. Like, they're not even doing damage to me. Like, you see, I, like, I'm losing, like, half health each time. Like, not even half health. I'm losing, like... I lose half a health, and then I regen it back so quickly that it's just... Like, it's not them being a threat to me. It's just them being annoying and just constantly spawning. And also the noise that they make is just, especially with the updated uh, sounds that they got like a while back, you can just hear them crawling all over the place. Okay, so this one, so this level doesn't have that um, that gravel. I don't think it just has spawners in the ground, which is interesting. And you guys, I do not want you guys blowing up anything down here of interest ooh okay, ooh wait that I feel like I skipped a level actually I because that leads to where the wool is at interesting I feel like I did skip a level I'm pretty sure I skipped a level Interesting. Uh, where did I come back? Where did I come out of? Right over here somewhere, right? You can die. I don't even remember where I came out of. Oh, right here. I want to open this up so I can know exactly where I came from. Come on. Okay. Um... You can. Oh, you're not gonna fight that skeleton after he hit you? Interesting. Okay, so bam, bam, bam. This is what I came out of, and I'm pretty sure I did skip a level. Right? This is the first level. And if I were to dig straight down, do I. I don't think I did skip a level. Yeah, I come straight back down here. I guess my memories. Not serving me correct because I'm pretty sure there's 
there's the first level, a second level, and then you go again, and then you go to like a level like this, and then it comes down into the area where the wool is at. Huh. Interesting. Um. So let's head out here, and this. Hang on. Is this? Don't. Oh my goodness! I don't have anything to block. It's creeper. Explosions. Interesting. Um. Okay, I guess we go down. Honestly, I don't even remember this area. <laughs> Maybe because I just hate it so much that I just choose to ignore it. That I don't pay too much attention to it. Or something, I don't know. Because this area... Oh, please, please. Oh my god, you hit me with poison too. And you hit me with damage. Oh my goodness. And she poisoned you for so long. I, I saw her, but I didn't expect her to fall down right away. Thought I could get the anger on her. Okay. Okay. Is that another one, or is that a zombie? That's a zombie. Okay. Okay, boys. Let me... Find a way down here. And this is, I guess, the most annoying part, because... You, you just see in a minute. I don't want to spoil the surprise. I don't want to spoil anything. Okay, so this is where I this is where I came from, marking down a torch, so I know that this is where I need to go when I need to leave. Right over here. Right over here. So let's let's head on out and defeat this dungeon. Uh, now, interesting enough, these dungeons, like, if you place a torch right there, it triggers the gravel, and if you break the gravel, it triggers the gravel. Actually, wait. No, it doesn't trigger it. Like, okay, you can choose to not bother with the spawners. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, I remember now. Yeah. You can choose not to bother with the spawners by just, like, coming around and just placing torches, but if you want to collect the XP... Then you're gonna have to deal with the gravel and you lose all your torches, so. Next. Kinda hit you with that. Do you, like, go for the experience or do you just. I mean, this map was actually created before experience. Like, this map was updated obviously before the experience came out, so. I guess just time, just let it be so where. You can choose to go for the experience or you can just choose to ignore the spiders. Cause they can't. Well, they can get out. But like if you're like if you position yourself in an angle like this, and then like it they get stuck. And but if I were to like peek a little bit more to the left, that spider would like get out. Like see, actually no, that spider got actually got pushed by the other spider, but still, and they actually got stuck in their spawners. Like the thing is though, it's like I feel like no matter what though. If I don't destroy the spawners, he's just going to constantly spawn. So I feel like we might actually have to destroy the spiders. I feel like we might actually have to. Because if I break one of these, it's all coming down. And if I break the spawner, it's all coming down. So what do I do? Okay, let's... Oh no! I did not mean to hit the bat. Okay, you get off me. I did not mean to kill the bat. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm pretty sure they, they're not spawning. Like, I feel like they're, they're still spawning, but. Let me let me regroup because I need more torches. So let me regroup and oh my goodness, they can chase me and I need to empty out my inventory. Very much need to empty out my inventory and I already have all my levels back. Spend I think I had like oh oh my goodness I hate creepers so much. 
Okay, let me get rid of all this stuff, because I don't really care much for it. And I'm just gonna just constantly pick it up. Um, I really don't need none of this stuff. Like, all this cobble can go. One piece of cobble. I'll keep the flint just in case. Just saving up some inventory space. I don't need all that stuff. We're close to the end of the map anyways. And so resource gathering is like very pointless at this stage. Oh my goodness, I got stuck. I can't block. And all these spiders are going to come out. Like it's... It's just me there's... I feel like they're not spawning anymore actually. Maybe like in the back? And oh my goodness. Well. I screwed up. It's time to go for it. Time to go for it. We're just gonna go for it. Just gonna go for it. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm destroying these spawners. I feel I feel like they're not. I feel like they're not stopping them from spawning. So we definitely, definitely need to take out these spawners. Okay. And I need to make some more torches. Actually. Okay. I feel like the other side though is good. I feel like I can leave the other side alone and just continue onwards. I feel like the other side doesn't give me as much trouble. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I remember now. So it is three layers. So that was the second layer, and the second layer brings you down to the third layer, and then the third layer brings you down to where the wall is at. Okay. So I, I knew there was two layers that had a, um, that involved the uh, the gravel spawners, and this is where the wall is at over here, with the giant gravel spot. That's gonna be so annoying because you're gonna find out that this the Vex updated this area when they added the new. Sp Spider to the family. <laughs> okay. Let me group up a little bit here. Gather my bearings. Kill that zombie. And we should be good to go. <laughs> Kill a few more of these. And... Oh my goodness. Someone hit him. A skeleton hit him. I don't think they're they're a regular zombie uh, spider. I don't think they're regular spider spawners anymore. I'm pretty sure this is where the other mobs come in with their spawners. Okay, just make sure I don't have anything spawn behind me, aka a creeper. I don't want to fall. So that's some leather armor, which is kind of pointless. Like, it's really kind of pointless. I see, there we go, there we go. How you doing, how you doing? I missed you, and I missed that you can hit me from a far away and still kill me somehow. Oh my goodness. Here we go, spider's nest. Oh my goodness. Imagine these... <laughs> Imagine spiders this big in real life. I know there's pretty big spiders, but just imagine like, like literally being the size of these sp spiders, and then like having a nest in like your basement or something. That'd be pretty freaking creepy. And also, fun fact: I'm not afraid of spiders. I know a lot of people have like arachnophobia, and I don't blame them. Like, spiders are like creepy. I'm not like spiders can be creepy. But I'm not afraid. If there's a spider, I usually leave it alone. I know it's like, oh, why don't you just kill it? 
because I because I don't want I don't want to take the chance of killing a spider a spider and then having like all the babies come out because I, and I've seen that happen a lot it's like where someone kills a spider or something and it's like it's a female spider and is pregnant so like all the spiders just like all the baby spiders just, just go everywhere because um, baby spiders uh, they uh, I don't I don't know too much of spiders but I'm pretty sure for what I remember from like you know just experience just years of you know school and stuff and learning you know from whatever you know sources that I was able to learn from whether being you know school internet etc you know I'm pretty sure spider babies uh, they like stay inside not inside but like they live or like yeah they they like stay stick to where their parents no their parents their mother's backs and that's how like they get around and then I'm pretty sure there's other spiders that like legit like kill and eat the mother cause spiders are savages bro like just imagine like spiders are savages they trap their prey in like their home to eat them. It's, it's quite bizarre, but it's also quite fascinating. Oh my goodness, I need to pop this. Cause, uh, why do you have to be a skeleton? Oh my goodness. Why do skeletons have to even be a thing, man? Oh my goodness.